I have to thank this individual for allowing me to find this video and make a video response to it. So I suggest you subscribe to her channel because she's a woman and she's fucking hot. This bloke, a loke, is just too annoying. There's so much wrong with everything that he's producing. He's just taking ridiculous to a new level. That being said, let's begin. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alok and I'm non-binary. Ah, another one of those videos. Tell me, are you also non-race along with non-species? Which means I don't identify as a man or a woman. Well, fuck what you identify as, you're a fucking man wearing earrings. The only non-binary person I could sort of respect is Swift Sky, but I really have a problem accepting this so-called non-binary bullshit. Going as far to say as gender is a social construct. Wait, what the fuck? Are you trying to give off the illusion of flying? If so, that's the most pathetic attempt to do so. It looks like you're trying to dance in the worst way possible by standing still. Look, if you're going to use green screen and want to give off the illusion of flying, instead of doing whatever the fuck you're doing, uh, actually make a pose of flying. The effects are so cheap, it's on par with YouTube effects. You think with better equipment for this kind of video, you would at least make the after look decent enough. But no, this is just pure laziness. I can do a better job at this, and if you see my editing, I can really stretch the mile. What is that? Oh god, the cringe! That's a gender non-conforming person who's making me uncomfortable. Because that's how society acts when a non-binary person is flying through the air? Because of my own insecurity. It's okay, let's call it names. Oh my god, you guys aren't even trying anymore. What the fuck is this? I'm giving off the illusion of flying! Because of my own insecurity. It's okay, let's call it names so we feel better about our own repressed desires. Cause that's the reason, because we're so insecure of ourselves. Meanwhile, girls in colleges get triggered by the word anus. But we're the insecure ones. Um. <laughs> Even though society encourages individuality, non-binary people like me are punished for daring to defy conventions and be ourselves. I would not say punished, but you're definitely ridiculed a lot because, well, it's more of being a fucking narcissist than, and, than actually just being yourself. Man, woman, liberal, conservative, crazy, sane, each one of these is what we call a dichotomy, and they are everywhere. Wee! I'm giving off the illusion of flying again! So, how did we get here? Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there were white sisters messing up again. Evil sis, gender white scum! LOL! So like, there was this guy named Rene Descartes? It's Descartes! Well, this guy was widely regarded as the father of modern philosophy. Right now, I'm really into the idea of dualism. Question. Are you unbelievably cheap? You can't get a dude, so you need to you need to get a chick to play as a dude. How fucking cheap are you? Good timing, Renee. Convenient that a philosophy of the mind-body divide emerged at a time when Descartes' enlightenment developed on the backs of exploited black and brown people in the global south. Because people of color just have bodies and not minds. Great. White guilting. Evil cisgender white scum. Let's go. This one Syria. I like that. It's got a nice ring to it. This is gonna be Egypt. Mm, Algeria. Um, hey, excuse me, that's what? That's my hair. What? Oh, no. There are so many questions I have. You have lighting, a camera, which is far better than mine, mind you, and even a background, which you can use chroma key. But you can't get at least a guy to play a dude, and you have the worst editing ever! Listen, the world is far too complicated and nuanced to fit into two oppositional categories only. Um, last time I checked, there are two things a human can have on their crutch. A vagina and a penis. That is how babies are born, genius. 
Granted, there are a few cultures that try to blend the line of gender, but a culture is no different belief-wise than a religion. Science is fact. And the fact of the matter is that you're either male or female. That is it. You can dress up whatever the hell you want to blend the genders, but at the end of the day, you can't just say that you're outside the gender binary because you feel like it. And if people don't like it, they're being transphobic and must be shamed in public. We live in a culture that lashes people's worth, not by who they are, but rather who they are not. But you deny on who you really are. This sort of denialism is dangerous because what you're trying to do is destroy the English dictionary. Sooner or later, people can say whatever the fuck they want and all the words will have no meaning whatsoever. A cat is now a door. A fish is now a monkey. A box full of shit can be a box full of candy because we could just change any word we want. It's always bad until proven good. This is because our individualistic society is really egocentric. The only people who's egocentric is you. The entire video is filled with narcissism. The problem is we tend to associate things that are similar to us as good and things that are different from us as bad. No, that is not true. Sure, you're different, but what you're doing is something that is harmful and people are standing up to it. This teaches us that difference is something that's morally wrong, not just another expression of the infinite diversity of the world. So if I murder someone, it's just another form of expression. Congrats, you have officially proven that you're beyond the realms of reality. In our patriarchal society, women and femmes are taught from a young age that we have to be beautiful, otherwise we're just regarded as disposable and ugly. Yes, blame it all in the imaginary patriarchy. If you want to be fat, be fat, but don't expect people to automatically embrace you, especially if you're trying to force it down people's throats. We learn from an early age that our survival and happiness is linked to how desirable we are to men. This is bullshit. Your survival depends on what you're thinking. And right now you're not even thinking, especially when you have all these props to work with, and yet, your editing along with your acting is so unbelievably cheap. Women and femmes don't have the privilege to be evaluated by, I don't know, our ideas or personality because people are too busy commenting on our appearances. What? So what you're saying is that the only reason we even value women at all is because they have boobs. And that's it. And we're supposed to fuck them. Once again, you've proven that you're beyond the realm of reality. What you're essentially saying that men are nothing more than mere monkeys who only care about sticking their cock in a woman's vagina and fucking them hard, but only if they're attractive enough. When we hear them speak, all we hear is boobs, boobs, boobs. And feminism is totally not about man-hating. The beautiful ugly dichotomy is so powerful and so insidious, it finds its way into the minds of many people, no matter how they identify. <laughs> Take for example, recently Caitlyn Jenner, a trans advocate, told trans women that they should care about beauty because society is just so uncomfortable with men in dresses. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Part of what you say is true, but considering the fact that many people would not be okay with a very merry man in a dress, who looks like a very poor drag queen is, well, not uncommon. It all depends on the looks. I would not be all that comfortable if I had to share a room who looks like Chris Chan Welder. I'm in all for men cross-dressing and vice versa, but if people feel a bit creeped out, then it's not their fault, and you can't really force them to change. To which I say, why should trans people have to look like cisgender people in order to be worthy of respect? Because putting on a wig and a dress and saying I'm a woman is not enough. If you really want to be a woman, then it takes effort to do so. What you're doing is an insult to those who are transitioning. Those who actually suffer. You're just trivializing it. The only thing we should have to pass as is ourselves. But sometimes you make it seem like we have to go through a security path down just to pee. Great, the so-called gender bathroom shit. I'm asking my audience right here. ladies. Would you feel okay that a man in a dress, or just a man in general, shared the same bathroom with you, no matter what he looked like? For example, say, in Target. 
It's no secret that humans used to think some things that are actually very wrong were totally right. Like... What is right and what is wrong? The essential soundtrack to human progress. Now on one compact disc. One of the things is mayonnaise is tasty. Is that a universal fact that mayonnaise is disgusting? Really? I like mayonnaise, and I expect someone who's a bit of a dick sucker to like mayonnaise. The thing is, as time goes on, we learn more about science and about ourselves, and that gives us a greater respect for the wild complexity of everything. And what is so complex with gender? For fuck's sakes, it's science. Boys have penises and girls have boobs. Identify the dichotomies in your life and commit to working through them. Don't be afraid to be confused or to not have all the answers. Difference is strength. Soon you'll find that the world is super textured and layered and there's actually enough room to respect how weird we actually all are. Yeah, I don't really expect any of you. I am the Atheist Gamer and keep gaming on.